Hey, what's up everyone? This is Silver Slayer. Thank you for tuning into this video. I have a great video for you guys today. I don't know where I find these articles from, but they're definitely content worthy. Now, this one is some good stuff. We're going to dive deep and it's going to be extremely educational as well. So, any investment, there's a risk, right? If there's no risk, there's no reward. Silver is an interesting investment because it, it's highly controversial and you really have to believe in it because nothing too tremendous has happened yet. That still is yet to come. I mean, yeah, it gained, you know, there was a gain in 65% this year. Yeah, $50 silver in 2011, but the rate, the, the, the size that we're talking about silver really going is something you kind of have to believe in. And, and we can tell you all of the, diff, the different, you know, reasons why, but it hasn't happened yet. So it can be really skeptical, really skeptical. Now, we're not going to really look at it too deep in that type of light but i do want to look at what other points are because we got to look at both sides of the coin pun intended so i found this article what are the dangers of silver investment and i'm going to see what points they make and and this is the thing my name is silver slayer not gold slayer obviously i like silver i see potential in silver but i still don't want to be biased. I'm going to look at this, and if I agree with the point they make, I will go along. I'm not going to try to debunk everything they say. I'm going to try to, to look at it realistically and as unbiased as possible. So, let's jump into it. So, investing can be risky, no matter which route you choose. For decades, some have said silver and gold are safe investments since their value will surely hold no matter what happens to the economy. Unfortunately, there is no 100% guaranteed safe investment. However, you may find it a less risky investment than other commodities. And yes, I agree. I, I definitely agree. It's called a safe haven asset because in times of economic uncertainty, people transfer their money out of fiat into gold and silver. And that's why silver is such a rebellious type of investment because it threatens the dollar. And you can see that, that banks don't like that. They want you to invest into stocks and things that are attached to the, the dollar. Gold and silver are detached. So when you transfer your fiat into gold, you take the power away from the banks. And that's they don't like that very much, as you can see. And that's also why they try to bash gold and silver and kind of sweep it under the rug, saying it's a bear market. That's where all the bad uh, that's where all the bad the, the bad perspective comes from from people portraying it as it's a bad investment so The main dangers of investing in silver are that you could possibly or that you could physically lose items like silver coins and bars And that the value can decline with changes in the market Now that's an interesting a very a very light point obviously if you're buying uh, <laughs> physical coins You won't lose them right you don't lose your car you don't lose your your child you don't lose you don't lose that you don't lose valuable things they get stolen so thinking of it let, let's say let's go from the stolen aspect even if you take regard it won't get stolen there are so many ways to hide your gold and silver uh, you could you could break it up and have some in, in a safety deposit box, some stashed in your backyard under three feet of dirt. You can have a very, very strong safe deadbolted into the wall. Um, there, there's so many different options. And, and to say that point is why you shouldn't invest is silly. I would think there's a better chance of, of investing into the uh, stock market and it crashing or the company going bankrupt or so, something along those lines is more probable than someone stealing my silver out of my house, in my opinion. But, you know, let, let's keep going on. Oh, and they say uh, the, the bars can va the, the value can decline with changes in the market. Isn't that any investment? Any investment, the value can decline? I could say that about literally anything. The dollar, <laughs> Bitcoin... Anything that has a value can obviously decline in value. So, I don't know. I don't see. It probably sounds like I'm already trying to come at this article hard, but I'm not. I'm just like it's not. 
that's not even me trying to it's just a fact so anyway risk silver risk factors the value of silver comes from its demand when industries need silver for production it becomes a hot commodity however if industries tend to be relying on other metals silvers will drop the misconception that silver isn't influenced by market conditions when it's as vulnerable as many other assets and yes i agree with this one i just made a video about this my biggest fear is what if they find another metal or something else to replace silver for cheaper and i say for cheaper because other things could but not as cheap as silver silver is the most highly conductive metal for thermal conductivity and electricity right so so it's very useful in, in technological era that we're advancing in for the future 5g technology electric vehicles solar panels and actually i made a video a couple days ago telling the you know real bringing this to light so solar panels they by 2025 um, millions or billions of ounces in demand for or millions of ounces from solar panels and photovoltaic cells but scientists found a way to use a whole of a lot less silver uh, like 15 percent for the solar panels and, and it works just as good so the demand will not be as big as people hoped for now I had I didn't want to hide that from you guys. I'm gonna show you the good, the bad, and the ugly, right? I'm gonna show you precious metals as they come. I'm not gonna try to hide certain information from you, right? I'm gonna talk about what's happening in the markets, regard whether it's a good or bad. I'm talking about it because that's the market. That's the world of precious metals. Uh, and if you want to take the information or leave it, you know you can you can do whatever you want with the stuff I say. Um, I'm just letting you know what's happening, regardless of if it's good or bad. So, this this is an interesting one because then you ha you go into the topic, or now you go into the question. You know, if the demand isn't as high, what what would it do to the price? But I don't think it would hurt the price too much because electric vehicles, 5G technology, and the as the silver's price rises, the individual investors that will be buying it, especially as the price rises. Um, it's going to make up that. I couldn't see a, a big percentage loss, especially with the new generations, how easy it is to invest like apps on Robinhood, making it more accessible, more convenient, more people are interested from the Bitcoin boom. They saw that investing can be profitable and now they want a second chance at it, which would be this. So um, let's keep on going on. The misconception is that silver isn't, oh yeah, okay, so <laughs> this is another part. Silver isn't influenced by market conditions. And that's not true. Well, yes, that, that, that's a false statement. Yes, silver is influenced by market conditions. Silver is influenced by what's happening in the economy. It's influenced by the dollar index. It's influenced by supply and demand. It, there's a lot of things. It's even influenced by speculation nowadays. And that's a scary thing. Silver is influenced by speculation. Silver's price will move when Donald Trump tweets something controversial which is scary and that's dangerous but it's true I talk about that all the time one of the biggest dangers of silver is that price fluctuations can be less predictable than other commodities global demand for silver can influence its value and if your portfolio includes silver you may not or you may not be easily able to predict what's happening especially outside of your own country this can lead to surprise loss. Well, it, it, trust me, if you guys are watching this video, you will always, you will always stay informed on what's happening because I will give you the inside scoop at all times, twice a day, once in the morning, once at night. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's let let's break this down. Global demand for silver can influence its value. Yeah, of course, and that's and the demand is rising, so. The point he's making, he's trying to say like global demand for silver can influence its value, like and that he's coming from a point like demand is going to decrease it, but no, that's a great point for silver and that's why you should invest do it, into it, not why you shouldn't. But anyways, if your portfolio includes silver, you may not be easily able to predict what's happening. I mean, it's not really about prediction in my opinion. It's more about investing into the into the thought because there's all types of forecast price predictions for bitcoin everything has a forecast 
most things don't have as much potential looking forwards. When it's a price forecast or prediction, you have to predict what the economy is going to be like, what the markets are going to be like in the future. And nothing looks as good as silver in the future from knowing the demand, knowing the dollar index, knowing everything. Silver looks even better. So the points he's making are actually turning into positive points. And I'm not trying to say this. Um, I'm not trying to say this biasly. I'm, I'm telling the truth. So investing in silver. When you ask if investing in silver is a good idea, often the answer depends on how silver is performing at the time. Working in silver favors the fact that it's, it has a store of value based on the fact that there's a limited supply of it in the world, right? That's, that's so true. You can't make or destroy silver. Money is something that cannot be created nor destroyed, and that's true. It's, it's, it has intrinsic value. So as anything finite, having silver on hand can pay off down the road when it's in demand. However, there are a lot of questions investors have when getting started. Questions like, which country has the best silver? Highlight just how much there is to learn before you put a dime into it. The silver market has been very volatile in recent years, so it's important you know that going in to adjust your strategy to compensate for it. So, I don't know if I'm missing something, but but no matter what country silver's in, if it's three nines fine silver, it's three nines fine silver. If it's four nines fine silver, four nines fine silver. There, there's no better coin than three nines fine. It's universally is is a universal me, uh, purity. It's not like China has a better quality silver. Now they do have um, they do have uh, more or more collectible coins because the design changes every year. So if you want to look at it from that aspect, I'll tell you all day long which are the high premium, highly profitable coins in the future and which ones are stuck to, to spot price. Um, and that's from watching my... But if you are a new investor and you haven't watched my channel, you don't watch YouTube videos, you might fall into that trap of buying really expensive coins that, that are going to take some time to appreciate and you might sell them at the wrong places too. So, types of silver, let's, let, let, I'm going to break down everything. So, I was going to skip on, but let, let's keep going right here. So, the silver market has been very volatile in recent years. So, it's important, you know, that going in and adjust your strategy to compensate for it. So, volatility can be a great thing or a terrible thing. It's like gold on steroids. Um. It can be great because that means bigger profit margins, but it can be bad because that means bigger loss margins, depending if you're in the green or the red. Um, knowing that, your strategy should definitely be diverse when you're looking at silver. Uh, and, and I don't look at it from to compensate for it, but more to um, just ensure that you have different or many seeds planted that can blossom wealth types of silver investments obviously i hate i don't mind etfs i don't care for them physical silver is the way to go so risk of physical loss fluctuating prices you put yourself at risk in other ways if you purchase silver coins or bars uh, while this takes you outside of the financial system you'll be affected if the economy tanks and silver drops as with other investments, you will be less affected if you have plenty of years to enjoy long-term gains. Of course, perhaps the biggest risk of having your money in a physical product is that you could lose or damage it. If your home is affected by a natural disaster, the investment could be wiped away in a matter of minutes. You can minimize that risk by placing your silver and any other asset base in a safe deposit box. So we just answered his own question. Um, what is hedging? Silver is used as something called a hedge which essentially means a way to safeguard yourself as you're investing. You may feel vulnerable as you look at your portfolio, especially if experts are predicting a downturn. Hedging can be a form of insurance against the risk you feel when you're taking with other items in your portfolio. You'll see hedging as a strategy used by professional brokers as they help you build your portfolio. They'll look at safer investments to offset the high-risk items they choose. The theory is that if things go wrong, You'll have some items in your portfolio that may be gaining or holding their value to help produce 
reduce your losses. So I don't know why he put that in here. That's a, that's silver is a hedge against inflation, right? That's what you're putting your money into uh, as the dollar decreases. So I don't know why that's a that makes it a bad investment. A lot of this stuff he's he's actually giving reasons why you should invest into silver. And that's the thing you can see where this article's written from finance.com. So obviously this guy's in the finance, probably stock market, is, um, a lot of stuff along those lines. So those guys definitely don't look at silver in the same light that we do. They look at it more from a numbers game and uh, from what's happening right now instead of the potential. They're not really long-term investors. They're more marginal more marginal traders on a day-to-day -day basis or on a week-to-week -week or month-to-month -month basis. They're not going to wait 10, 15 years like we do. They don't have the patience for that. So, yes, yeah, silver's a terrible investment if you're looking at a, a, a three- to five-year timeline. Um, I wouldn't invest into it. I would, if it's if you're looking into it for a quick buck, you're in it for the wrong reason, or maybe it's just not for you. Maybe you should switch to Bitcoin or stocks. It's definitely a longer-term investment. So gold versus silver investment. If you're weighing silver against gold as an investment strategy, it's important to note that silver tends to fluctuate in price more than gold. He already said that. He already said that. He said it's high volatility. Silver is more volatile than gold. Price is silver versus gold. Well, here we go. The gold to silver ratio. So gold to silver ratio is a very good tool to use whether uh, to determine whether silver or gold is the better investment, the better buy at that period in time. The ratio got as high as 125 to 1 in March, uh, meaning it took 125 ounces of silver to equal one ounce of gold. That's the highest, that, that's the lowest silver's ever been in comparison to gold's price. That's the weakest it's ever been in 5,000 years. It's never been that low. That's, it, so that's the cheapest silver's ever been compared to gold interesting stuff silver's scraps effect silver scrap has had an influence on going rates for silver photo about uh, photographic film once the light sensitives photography shifts into digital through demand over time stockpiles begun to deplete at going rates which so that's actually one of the benefits of silver i don't know why he's putting this as a bad thing a lot of silver is lost in technology that's lost in laptops, cell phones. So the circulating supply actually goes down. So rising demand, lowering supply is going to bring the price up. Gold is recycled, reinvested, reused, re-scrapped. Because people are more likely to pawn jewelry, earrings, necklaces, watches. Because it's profitable to do that. They'll even take gold out of a laptop. Because it's, it's worth your time to do that. But with silver, it's not worth your time. No one's scrapping silver out of laptops. You'll make a couple dollars where gold, you can make a pretty penny. So you can see how gold is recirculated. Uh, silver is not. So it's actually a, a more, it's, it's more bullish for silver to look at, at, a, at a, uh, you know, a perspective of it's always decreasing uh, its circulating supply. Investing in silver mining stocks. I'm gonna fit. I'm gonna skip through that one. International silver prices. Um, yeah, which country has the best silver? The U.S. ranks lower among countries that produce most silver. Um, so, okay, which, which country has the best silver? You'll likely find Mexico. Um, 6,500 metric tons produced in 2017. Uh, United States has the most, but they're talking about uh, ranks among countries that produce. United States has the most, but they don't produce the most. Mexico and Peru definitely do. Silver as a safe haven. Um, we he already talked about that as well. As well. Um, safe haven alternatives. So let's see what he talks about. I'm trying to kind of skip through and summarize. Before putting your money into silver, it's important to be aware of the other safe options for your money probably the best or the safest place you'll still enjoy returns as a certificate of deposit leave your money in the full term you can earn up to three percent interest depending on the rates offered by your lender of choice so you can make the three percent interest but how fast is the dollar declining will you even break even um i don't know it depends i guess the time frame Money markets, considered safe havens, government municipal bonds also provide relatively safe investments. It's still, all this stuff is pegged to the dollar, though. Anything that's pegged to the dollar is 
is this guy's missing the whole point why we invest in the gold and silver. The point we invest, the reason we invest in the gold and silver is that is because we don't trust the the dollar. The dollar is has lost 98% of its purchasing power. The dollar's lost 44% of its purchasing power in the last 20 years. And it's getting worse. So so knowing that, why would we invest into something that's that's the reason why we get we're getting out of it? And then you have saving for a disaster, um, biggest draws to metals as a risk averse investment has to do with protection against market crash. Um, and I still think uh, silver is the smartest one or the safest one. If the markets or if any of the markets are going to crash, I would want to have it in silver than anything else because stock market crash would be terrible. Uh, cryptocurrency crash could be terrible because you're not going to get that stuff back. There is no Bitcoin police. So I don't know. I definitely think that this article, it had a lot of points, but I don't think the points were very strong. If I was an outsider looking in, I would believe this stuff because I see I've been investing in the silver for a decade. So I know what this what he's talking about and whether it's true or false. But I think about uh, uh, and think about someone who's never invested that knows nothing. And reads this, they'll believe all of it, and they'll think that silver is a, a terribly dangerous investment. They won't know that a lot of this stuff is false or misworded or misleaded. That's the dangerous part. That's why people get a bad stigma of silver. They read articles like this, don't know what's really going on, don't know the real, um, the real reasons why silver is profitable or beneficial. And then they switch or go to stocks. And then all the the whole time, they're always having the back of their mind. Gold and silver is too risky. But it's really the safest. So, I don't know. I thought this was an interesting article. What do you think about this stuff? Do you think I was too I was too biased? Do you think I was using a biased opinion going in this? Uh, everything I was looking at, do you think I was trying to debunk it or find something wrong? I don't think I was. I was everything, that, a good point he made, I, I agreed with him. But he just didn't make very good, agreeable points. If he would have said, you know, some of silver's, like some of the real things that, that silver could be. See, the one good point he did make, actually, is what I was going to say, I would say about silver, is um, is the chance of something replacing it that's cheaper. And that's my fear since the beginning. If something replaces silver that's cheaper, that could kill the market completely. That's the only thing that could kill the market completely. But... Silver is the most highly conductive metal for thermal conductivity and electricity, and especially for as cheap as it is, I don't see how anything can replace it unless we find some new, some new metal or mineral, um, or some something that scientists create. But I highly doubt that anytime soon, at least. So, I don't know. What do you think about this article? Do you think it was educational, informational, or at least entertaining? If you did, make sure to smash the like button. Subscribe. We're approaching 33. Thousand subscribers. Thanks for tuning in. This was Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.